the table. Billy McNeil was alongside Jock Brown in a capacity crowd at and Celtic Park. Lobczyk in central defence with Tom Boyd at left back. Four across the middle. And a run there for Mikhailichenko and Pat Bonner had that well under control. Seemed very calm indeed, Bonner. The longest serving player in the Celtic ranks. Joined the club in 1978. There's McCall. Haitley is onside. A great chance for Rangers right at the start of the match. And Haitley scores! The most dramatic opening to the Old Firm match. It's goal number 21 of the season. And it's scored in just 58 seconds. Well, there's the pass from Stuart McCall. And it did appear as though Haitley started from position in line. The lines on below is George Kerr was perfectly positioned to assess that and he waved play on not yet been completed but either side as jury breaks there that's great play neil murray's in the clear it's a great chance for the second murray against bonner and here's mikhanichenko it's number two for rangers and once again the square defense has been breached and this time there was no question of murray being offside Yes, Celtic in total disarray at the minute. But look at the pass right through the heart of the defence. Neil Murray misses a great chance. He allows Bonner to make a good save, but there you are, Mikhailichenko puts it away. Trevor Stephen making a good run across to the left. Tackled by Collins. Advantage allowed with Rangers in possession. There's Haitley again. Now Jury. And the third score by Mikhailichenko. And once again, the Celtic defence was ripped asunder. Trouble at the far end of the ground at the Rangers' end. A supporter on the field at Ali Maxwell's goal, being removed instantly by stewards and police officers. It's a Celtic supporter who lost the place. Here's the goal. Again, it's a magnificent cross to the back post. We see again Mark Haitley's ability in there. Von Jury misses a great chance, but there's Mikhailichenko in hand to put it. Now, life is going to be very difficult for Celtic now. Well, I suppose this was a great chance initially for Gordon Jury. He really should have buried that one. But Mikhailichenko reacted very swiftly. Well deflected from about this range. Well, that's a good change of slant there by John Collins. Jury, supporting player of a range. Strong enough and quick enough to go past Gillespie. There's Kuznets off. That's the fourth. That settles it all right. All right, Kuznetsov with that dipping volley. There are two at the bottom of the net, but there you are, you see again. Celtic defenders can perhaps just be that bit slow in getting out of it, nevertheless, I don't think... Well, it was a rare old battle in midfield, these two international teammates, McCall and McStay. Yeah, they really have had a battle, and there's not been an awful lot of mercy shown. I think, in actual fact, Paul's just a little bit unlucky there, because... I don't think his tackle was all that dangerous or all that bad. He just mistimed it slightly, but I don't... A chance on there for the second for Celtic. And the Rangers' defence was... McCall. Mikhailichenko to Stevens. Good play again from Rangers. The tackle came from McNally after the final whistle. The game is over, Rangers the winners by four goals to two, but the game effectively won and lost in that dramatic opening four-minute spell where Rangers scored twice. This for the consolation eight minutes some time, restoring some pride to Celtic, but the honours belong to Rangers. It's Celtic two, Rangers.